Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. Uh, I, I just, I just got a good, real good laugh because they have this little reporter, and uh, one of these little hall monitors, as you know the type. Uh, he said he's been talking to the Twitter employees, and they say it's impossible to work there. In other words, it's impossible to work for Elon Musk. Maybe he requires you to really do your job and not just pretend like you're woke. Maybe he take a, took away your safe space. Words are offensive to me. So now you have to actually have a real job. You're in the real world now, huh? Now you actually have to work as opposed to just going there talking about the right wing all day long. I bet they have all kind of little meetings to just bash the right wing. Ban him, ban her. I'm offended by that. Now this little reporter says that the people at Twitter says that the website is built on sticks. In other words, it's going to crash. Is that supposed to like, do we supposed to have some sympathy for this if it does happen? So I know that you've been talking to a lot of folks um, employed by Twitter. What are they telling you? What does the separation also look like, the details of that? Sure. Uh, so the most important thing that Twitter employees want to stress is that the company is a nightmare right now. Yeah. And it, you cannot work there. And the website is built on sticks, and it might fall apart. So how is it cards? Um, if it falls apart by Tuesday, we're in trouble in terms of getting election information out there. The other thing they're warning to me about, oh. by the way, to regular people, like, yeah. you know, this is the thing. These people have lost their jobs, and this is what they're worried about right now. On Tuesday, uh, on, mon on Monday, let's start on Monday. On Monday, anybody can maybe buy a verification badge, right? Ver ver For $8. Check. Right. Yeah. You could go and pose as anybody, an election official, a uh, public figure, whatever. And there's they've cut the moderation staff so severely that there's no way they're going to catch up in time to these lies. Wow. So using Twitter as a trustworthy source of information on Tuesday is going to be a nightmare. That's what people inside of Twitter or people who just got laid off, some people who are still there are warning about because they go and talk to Elon, who is deeply out of his depth, objectively. And they don't know what's going to happen next week during the United States elections. So who is the person, what is the entity that helps identify that Twitter will no longer be a viable source that we have looked to for, for so long going forward? Because we are in the age of misinformation. I mean, the timing could not be worse for all this stuff. The entity is us. We're going to yeah. learn the hard way on Tuesday if, if he does this by Monday. And he wants to. He's, he, says, he says he wants to ship this product by Monday. Uh, this is a way to get eight dollars out of lots of users. Um, we're going to see what happens. I, I'm, I don't mean to sound the alarm quite so severely here, but this could be really bad. You people are the same ones who protected Hunter Biden, Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, uh, the FBI, every foster phony Russian collusion. All you have done for the last eight, nine, ten years is promote trash and lies. And propaganda. Now you want me to feel sympathy for you? And the little reporter said, these are these people's job. You remember when some of these folks who work for Twitter was excited, just like the governors and the mayors and all the left? If you don't get vaccinated, you need to be fired. How does that feel now? You think you're going to get some sympathy for me? Oh, excuse me, I think I just stepped in your mess. Let me clean my foot off on your face. Absolutely, you will not get any sympathy from me. Not from me, you want. Absolutely not. Oh my God, this is tragedy. No, it's not. This is not tragedy. This is the real world. See, when you have to go to work and actually produce, it's called the real world. Now, I know we've been divorced from reality, and this is the participation trophy crowd, and you normally don't have to actually do any work. You go to work, and you stay there eight hours, but you probably give about 30 minutes, if that, of work. You go to work to socialize with all your little friends. They're probably being there just drawing little pictures and stuff, making fun when Donald Trump is always make fun of Donald Trump. Let's get these conservatives. That's what they normally do at Twitter. Ban people and get phony bots to prop up people like Barack Obama and the left. You lied about the Hunter Biden story. You tried to protect Hunter Biden. Lied about Russian collusion. Kyle Rittenhouse, and the list goes on and on. You've been lying about January the 6th, now you want us to feel sympathy. What about those folks who locked up for January the 6th for trespassing? And you want me to feel sympathy for you because you might lose your job? 
I'm praying about it. I hope you lose it. That's what that's what I'm hoping for. Because all the damage you have done putting out this propaganda, promoting trash on your network. If you really want to do some, how about stop saying this is or this these surgeries are surgeries that help minors. These surgeries are just for the minors. It's what the minors do. Remember they was banning the libs of TikTok? For reposting what they actually said and done. They were upset about that. So in other words, don't repeat what we say. It's because it's such trash. We don't even want to repeat it. But we want to be able to say it. So everybody goes, you're so brave. Look at you. Oh, you're so brave. You got on Twitter and told everybody how you really feel about it. Now you have to deal with somebody throwing rocks back at you. When you throw was throwing all the rocks and everybody else had to duck. How's that feel? See, it's easy to sit around and throw rocks, but it's another horse of a different color when the when the rocks are being thrown back at you. See, everybody, uh, like matter of fact, anybody can look good, like hitting the punching bag, speed bag, look good. When you get in the ring, the other my opponent may punch back. All these times, these little tech gurus at Twitter have been able to sit around and manipulate news. Hide news story. They do it on all the platforms. Now Twitter wants sympathy. Elon Musk is making our lives difficult. Good. I'm glad about it. I hope he just need to turn it up more. Fire some more of them. Crank it. Put it up. Put that dial all the way on the last thing on high. Leave it on high. Keep the heat on them. Don't show mercy to them because mercy is a weakness for them. And now they want us, They, because the election is coming up. Anybody can get a verifiable account. My God, what are we going to do? It's not your job. You ain't been thinking about all the propaganda that you allowed Hillary and the Russian collusion and the FBI for January 6th. You ain't been thinking about propaganda. If the whole damn thing crashed, just say all fake news goes out. Who cares? Nobody's listening to most of that trash. Y'all gonna, what if an elected official, somebody get a verified account in an elected official's name? You mean a liberal? If you listen to them, you're just dumb anyway. Look, Joe Biden fooled some of these people. Bernie Sanders fooled some of these people. Barack Obama fooled some of these people. Not very difficult to fool those followers of those people. They'll believe anything. I mean, they believe that some fella broke in Nancy Pelosi's house and allowed Paul Pelosi to go open the door. <laughs> here you go. Go open the door. Oh, my God. What's going on here? Are you kidding me? They want us to believe there was no alarm system there. I like when Carrie Lake brought it up about this. It's like a Jesse Smoolik thing. The dumb reporter thought she was saying that it's just like Jesse Smoolik. No, somebody actually broke into uh, Katie Hobbs' uh, facility, but it was a left-wing nut job. Just like it was a left-wing nut job in there with Paul, Paul Pelosi with a hammer looking like Bob the Builder with some drawers on. And now you want us to believe that story. We don't, I don't believe nothing the media says. I'm telling you, if you want to be right, if you just turn go turn on ABC, CBS, NBC, Miss NBC, CNN, and they all repeat, whatever story they're all repeating, ignore it. Because it's trash, just like Twitter is trash. And I hope Elon Musk actually cleans it up. Because you got a bunch of dead beats in there. You got a bunch of people who's not really accustomed to actually doing a real job. Because the real jobs you use can get fired. I don't even know if you can fire people now. What you got to do to get fired? Burn the building down or something? Because I don't even think they'll let you fire people now. I remember when I was a supervisor, I was firing people left and right. You don't want to work? Oh, you think you come to work, you come here not to work? You going to work here? I tell you, I had one fella, he show up. As soon as he punch in, he over trying to get a smoke break. Wait a minute, fella, didn't you drive here? Get the damn cigarette out, man. You, you, you drove here, you should have smoked right there. You don't like smoking your car. Leave home early. Stop on side of the road. I don't know what you got to do. Get here early and go outside and smoke. You punch in and take a smoke break. This is what's wrong with our society now. This is the participation trophy crowd. And now they actually have to have a real job. Got to do real work and show up and produce. Now I don't feel safe. Okay then, switch hitter. Go get another job. Go work in the drag club then. Whatever you need to do. This is a real job. Most of these little millenniums are not used to real work. They whine about it. Remember the one we showed you at Starbucks? 
He's having a fit in Starbucks. All you got to do is say, I'm working as fast as I can. You know, get me worked up. Oh, my God, they're raising my voice. Ignore them. I don't want to hear. You ain't got it that bad. They got little children working in freaking coal mines in some of these uh, countries over here. And you're complaining about working in an air conditioner at Starbucks? These little Twitter, Twitter tech gurus, notice the fella never told you why they're so hot, why, why they're so upset. Why, why is the people working there so upset? Did he actually do your job? Did he mistreat you? Did he misgender gender you? What did Elon Musk, or why is the environment? Because you think that the website is about to collapse? You're concerned about propaganda now? You're concerned about real news getting out? He didn't give not one single uh, explanation on why they're so upset, the employees. It's hostile to work there. But I'm saying, based on what? Show me specifically what he did. He may have said, you had to come to work, and I want my eight hours out of you. you you going to come to work, and you're going to actually work. See, they was taking breaks all day long. All they do is talk, chat back and forth to each other, texting each other, emailing, telling everybody, shut them down over there. I just got, my friend just called me at a drag club and said he saw a tweet by somebody. Take it off there. My God, he's making his feelings get hurt while he's stripping in a, in a drag club. Can't make it up. If you don't like working in Twitter environment with the new boss man, leave. That's all you got to do is leave. So you don't care about other people getting fired. Matter of fact, you was promoting other people getting fired. Now I'm supposed to have sympathy for you? Well, let me let me see if I got sympathy. Let me see if I got any tears left. Nope, love don't live here no more. All the tears are gone. I've used them all up. I've already reached my total for tears for this year. I used some of them on Paul Pelosi when the incident first happened. I was crying so much. Oh, see, I checked my, my, my tear bank. You got a checking account, savings account. I checked my savings account and my checking account for tears, and it was none left. For those at Twitter, suck it up, buttercups. If you're having a hard environment, go get another job, a real job, where you can be fired. Or go work with one of your little friends. Oh, they're so wonderful. If Elon Musk spent 44, if I spent $44 billion, I'm going to do what the hell I want to do. I don't care if you lack it or not. Quit. If I spend $44 billion, it's going my way. I'm going Frank Sinatra in this camp. My way or the highway. Just paid 45, 44 billion. Did you read the news? 44 billion. This is my house. And if you don't like it, you can get the hell out of here. This is my house. 44 billion reasons why this is my house. And if you don't like my house, they got other residents you can move to and get you a woke job in a safe environment. Now, Liberal Starbucks, they're saying they don't feel safe at liberal Starbucks. They don't feel safe at liberal Twitter. Mm, I'm loving this. So liberals are feeling uncomfortable. This is the way America should be, if I must say so myself.